I want to take a quick moment this morning as a liberal gun owner, uh, probably one of the more liberal gun owners on YouTube, definitely one of the more liberal gun channels on YouTube, uh, to send a message to President Obama and any other Democratic politician that wanted to listen. Uh, and that message is, you know, times are really changing, so start paying attention and stop catering to outdated leftist ideas. Uh, we see on the news every day now that how the Republican Party has lost touch with its constituents, how it doesn't understand what's important to the modern day voter and that it needs to adapt or die. And I agree with that. You know, you can't just gear your arguments around guns, gays, and God and expect the same old uh, fear tactics to work. You can't expect that to motivate your base and get them out to vote for you. Uh, the days of Karl Rove and his ilk, I think, are fading quickly, and that's a good thing. But one of the things I think people are failing to talk about is how that's also true on the left. The left wing has changed a great deal in the recent years, and I think Democratic politicians are failing to realize that and adapt to that. Every year in this country, I think that people have become more and more similar. I don't know if it's because of the internet or social media or what, uh, but I think people are sharing more ideas, and every year we become closer together as a people, and our differences become smaller and smaller. And two of the things I think people are agreeing more and more on these days is, one, uh, that the ridiculous notion that you can blame an inanimate object for human failings is just that. It's ridiculous. You can't blame a gun for crime or violence or hatred or bigotry. Those are human failings, and those are only solved by addressing the human element of the problem. And I don't think a lot of people fall for that whole other argument anymore that you can blame guns. And plus, people look at things like assault weapons bans, and they say, well, they've never worked in the past. Why would they work now? So you have a really harder time nowadays demonizing firearms. It's not like it was 20 years ago where it was real easy to do. Nowadays, I think people just don't fall for that. And another issue I think people are coming closer together on is personal responsibility. The idea that there are certain aspects of your life that only you are responsible for. And one of those aspects is your own personal safety, the protection of yourself and your family. Uh, gone are the ridiculous notions that you can just call 911 and the police will rush to your aid and protect you. People realize that's not true. It's just, it's not the reality, and everyone realizes that. At least most people do. Uh, so they don't operate under that ridiculous notion any longer. So when you take those two things together, when people realize that it's up to them to protect themselves and their family, that they can't count on the police to protect them, and that you can't demonize inanimate objects, and you can't blame human failings on inanimate objects, when you put those two things together, Firearms have stopped becoming such a divisive issue in this country. They have become more and more accepted every day. I think I can speak for most people in the shooting sports industry or gun sales that they can say that every year I see more and more people from the left getting involved in shooting sports and in coming in for guns for self-defense. You know, my friends are always asking me, what guns are good for self-defense? What should I get for home defense? Uh, if I was going to start carrying a gun, what should I buy? What should I look for? You know, it's just getting to where it's no longer the providence of the right. It's all it's a right, left, and middle issue nowadays. Uh, people from all sides and the middle are realizing the important role that guns play in society, the positive role they play in self-defense and in the preservation of a free society. So it's no longer that divisive issue that people want to make you think it is. Now, I know some politicians and some people have a vested interest in maintaining that division, like Feinstein and uh, people like the, the Brady campaign. You think they don't make a lot of money off that campaign? Of course they do. So they have a vested interest in maintaining that division. But it doesn't exist anymore in any real numbers. Uh, so people like President Obama, if you say you want to be different, you say you want to get things done, well, be different by not falling into the habit of supporting these outdated leftist ideas just because certain people are very loud and have a vested interest in it. Uh, be different. Do the right thing. Pay attention to the masses and realize that this thing is not something that is dividing the country. It's not a fight that needs to be fought. Don't pick fights that don't need to be fought. You can't win those. So why would you do it? If you want to be different, be different and just do your job. I think you'll find that most gun owners are very reasonable people. And if we see you're doing the right thing and you're doing what's right for the country, we'll stand behind you. But we're also watching if you do the wrong thing. If you start falling into that trap of uh, forcing these wedge issues that aren't really issues, well, we will pay attention. We will fight you every step of the way and we will do everything to make sure you fail. And is that how you want to be remembered as the president who did the same old things and failed? Or do you want to actually live up to what you say for once and do things different?